Hey there, Internet. Moose Boy here with a very special tone report today. This is a uh, Yamaha SBG500 from the early 80s. Now, you're thinking, what's so special about that? Well, what's special about this particular one is that it was owned by a gentleman by the name of Tommy Tedesco. Yeah, those of you that know who Tommy Tedesco was are going, no way. Well, yeah, actually way. Uh, Denny Tedesco, who created the film uh, The Wrecking Crew, which was all about all the fantastic studio musicians in the 60s and 70s that did uh, just about every pop record that came out of the West Coast, all the TV shows, the movies, etc. These people were just always in the studio, always recording. And uh, Tommy was... Uh, kind of a real character as far as I can tell. A uh, guitar player called him the most record recorded guitarist in history. If that's true, I could believe it. But in any event, uh, his son Denny decided that uh, since his father had passed away uh, now 21 years ago and all of these instruments were just basically sitting in storage, it was time to auction them off and let other people enjoy them. So, um, I got word from uh, Denny because I was one of the people in the Kickstarter campaign for the Wrecking Crew movie. And uh, so, long story short, well, too late now, it's already a long story. Uh, I uh, bid on uh, three different instruments and uh, actually won the bid on this one. Uh, it wasn't horrendously expensive. It was, uh, you know, it's obviously a lot more than you would pay for a used Yamaha SBG 500 from the 80s, but it was, uh, it was doable, you know, for a guy like me with a regular income. The thing that surprised me most about this guitar is uh, when I received it, I thought, well, you know, who knows how it's going to play, how it's going to sound. Uh, it had been in storage for, you know, at least 21 years. And, uh, you know, it was anybody's guess. Well, to my surprise, my delight, uh, pulled it out, let it get acclimated, you know, to my type of weather here, you know, for a couple of hours, tuned it up and, uh, oh my gosh, it was set up exactly how I set mine up. Uh, he, you know, I, I am kind of picky about how I like things on my guitars and uh oh my gosh everything was just exactly right uh and the tone is just it's just gorgeous uh it's just kind of sometimes when i'm playing this thing i just kind of get a little uh little teary-eyed because i think that you know the hands that touch this last may very well have been Tommy's. Uh, so it's, uh, it's quite an emotional experience. And it does have his uh, signature on here. He signed it in 95, what, uh, four years before he passed away. So uh, it's, uh, it's quite an amazing act to say, uh, to say the least. Let me do some specs on it. But of course, since, you know, this is from the 80s, the specs are kind of skinny. So here we go. It's a solid body guitar and the wood is called laminated agathis. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce this. Agathis, it's not a wood that I've ever heard of. Uh, it's a carved maple top. The uh, neck is a set neck. It's maple. The fingerboard is rosewood and it's bound. It's 22 frets and uh, 24 and three quarter inch scale. So, you know, standard Gibson. Uh, the pickups are just called high output, wide range humbucking pickups. So there's not much information on this axe. But you know what? You can get hung up in specs. Or you can just play. I've been playing on the uh, neck pickup here. Yeah, a little buzzing there this morning. Here's the bridge. Yeah, 
we've had winter set in here uh, quite quickly, so uh, there's a little bit of buzzing going on. Just a teeny bit. But quite frankly, <laughs> I'm almost scared to do anything with this because the mojo in this, the, the magic juice is just amazing on this axe. <laughs> So this hasn't really been as much of a tone report as just kind of a celebration of uh, some of the good fortune that I had to be in the right place at the right time and recognize the uh, value of an instrument like this. Um, kind of reminds me that life is short. Uh, Tommy was 67 when he passed away. I'm 65 now, but uh, you know what? In Tommy's 67 years, he played more than any 10 of us put together, not only as, as much as that, but at a high quality level as he did. Uh, if you uh, haven't seen the Wrecking Crew movie, make sure to see it because it is a great testimony to Tommy and all of the people that made up that incredible group of people that just recorded so many of the songs and so many of the TV themes and the movies that you've heard all your life. It's, uh, it's quite a story. So um, remember the 10 most important things for great tone Keep them, with them, keep them with you all the time. If you like what I do, uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you uh, don't like what I do, then why did you stay around so long? Anyway, thanks much. See you soon. talking.